Good morning. We are here this morning. First thing is I'm Clyde with BNC Water, owner and operator of it. And I'm here this morning with Beverly, who is interested in good drinking water and wants to know how the system of reverse osmosis works. So Beverly. Good morning, Mr. Clyde. Good morning. And as we are talking today about this product, if you have any questions, please ask. But I know that you are interested in what kind of water that you are drinking. Oh yes, because I drink about a gallon of water a day. Drink about, and that's very good because water is a natural cleansing agent and it helps your body functions to clean and keep your body detoxified. One of the main things that we have in today's water is what we call totally dissolved solids. Now water itself is made up, as you know, of H2O, pure hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. Mm -hmm. And it has nothing in it. Well, as it comes down through the atmosphere or goes down to the ground, it picks up different contaminants. So when we are wanting to drink this water, we don't know what we're drinking because it could be heavy metals, it could be arsenic, it could be a number of things. So most people has, uh, has decided that they would like to get something as near to perfect as they can. So that's where reverse osmosis comes in. I'd like to explain to you today how reverse osmosis works. First thing is that we have a filtering unit just like this. Now no matter whether we're going to be making 50 gallon a day, like this unit does, or we can go on up to 10 or 15, 20,000 gallon a day according to the size of components that we use. So Mr. Clyde, is this home filtration, the, osmosis, or commercial, or both? It's both. It can be both. Uh, we have a lot in commercial places because uh, they need pure water. Uh, even in some of the lab labs, they use this reverse osmosis in their experiments and stuff because they don't have uh, the contaminants to deal with there. And the way that this o operates, let me explain. We have the first filter right here, which is sediment. So as the water comes in, this area right here goes into this sediment, and as it goes through there, it pulls out any big particulates that might be into the water. Then as it moves on over into the second one down there, it goes through what we call a carbon filter. Okay. And that carbon filter also starts to take it out and help get rid of some of the different uh, inorganic things that might be in the water. The third one is the same thing that just helps to polish the second one. After it goes through and comes out this end, it comes up and goes into this tube right here, which is a membrane. Now the way that that membrane works is that it's a twisted bunch of membrane, and the water as it goes in here goes down between that membrane, and as the pressure goes and pushes the water through that membrane, which separates the good water from all the contaminants. The contaminants go out one side of the bottom there and goes to the drain or wherever you want to dispose of it at. The other one comes back up and goes through this top filter which we call a polishing filter. In other words, it just eliminates everything that could be disagreeable. It's like polishing the jewelry except for it's <laughs> polishing the liquid. It's polishing the liquid. Uh, now on that top one there, we can also take and put one up there that not only will polish, but if someone is into alkaline water, oh. then we can put up there so that it will bring the alkalinity of the water up, which a lot of the doctors now I have found that's what yes. they're really pitching today. So now you've really piqued my curiosity because generally I drink alkaline water about 16 ounces with an electrolyte balance I yeah. like 
I'm not going to say the brand name because I'm not marketing for them right now. <laughs> um, but um, the, the hydration and, and the balance and, in the body. Uh, yes. And I wasn't as aware of it until I've got one of my systems in uh, with a bottleless water cooler in a doctor's house. And uh, when I moved it to her new house, that was one of the things that she requested. Could I make alkaline water for her? Because nice. she had started to buy it. Now, I think she adds also some other nutrients to the water, yeah. but uh, now the only thing she has to do is go to her tap, get, get the alkaline water out that she wants, and goes from there. Okay. Now, once it comes through the other end, we can put it on a faucet, dedicated faucet, on your sink most of the time, or even run it to your refrigerator. Oh, it's, nice. all, yeah. it's all according to the, how your house is laid out. Sometimes we can't do all that, but then we, we can t generally try. So where does this unit store, and then that, how does this little okay. baby come into it? Also, when you're not using water, as I say, this unit will make 50 gallons a day. So what it does, it comes into this here as a storage tank, which will, once it fills up, you've got uh, approximately four gallons of stored water. Because okay. if you wait for that to make it, uh, you would be a, a few more minutes getting a glass of water because it would just come out slower. Okay. So that's why we use this storage tank. Now sometimes I had one restaurant that decided that they wanted good pure water to cook their spaghetti in and even make their coffee. So what we done was we put a little bit bigger reverse osmosis in, a bigger tank. Right. Because this here, if you, if you use this and use it right, if you like coffee, it'll improve the flavor of your coffee because mm -hmm. you're getting the pure, and you won't use as much coffee. If you use the same amount, oh, wow. you'll generally get a little bit uh, strong. But then this, this, this unit goes under your sink or any place that we, you want it put. Okay. Uh, most of the time that in homes, we just set it up under the sink. No. You might not like that because, uh, but uh, you may be, lose space well. because of space. But again, uh, that that's the most because normally we'll run it to a dedicated faucet at at your sink, which I call glass filler, which you can uh, fill up your glass with it or you can uh, cook with it. And that's very important because again, your vegetables and all, you're going to get the pure uh, yeah, right. mm -hmm. flavor of those. Yeah, I had one of those little gizmos on the faucet uh, when, yeah. Well, what, what that is, is, is a, uh, just purely a filter. So it will take the taste and the odor out, okay. and we will get into that uh, at some point or another. So I have a question. With this unit here, are there, are there this in here, is that something that needs to be replaced? Yes. We service the, these once a year, unless you're using an extreme amount of water. Then sometimes okay. we'll do it every six months. But the normal residents, about every year we can come in and we do offer service contract where we change the filters in these three lower components here and we change this up here. The membrane normally, unless something has got into it, it will last a couple of years. But oh, we have nice. a meter that we check to make sure that it is working the way that uh, you want. All righty. So. Well, I'm very impressed. I like this system. I, I need this when I buy my next house. Well, it's uh, uh, anybody that's interested, give me a call at 800-798. 7775 and we'll be glad to come and give you a free estimate and let you know just exactly what it would cost and answer any questions that you might have for this. So you you come out to the home and you do a water consultation of yes. what the needs are yes. and there's not a, a, a charge not for that a charge, no. Oh, I, I'm like a doctor I make house calls with it without <laughs> the whole thing is I don't charge and just tell you what you need. That's why they call me the problem solver. Oh, I'll, nice. I'll just let you know what you need and what you want. And I don't twist your arm to buy it. Clyde the problem okay. solver. I love it. BNC Water Solutions.
Yes. Okay.